Hey guys, TVG here with another episode of Blast from the Past. Today we're going to be focusing on Colin Firth and his Oscar win for Best Actor for his performance in the feature film entitled The King's Speech at the 83rd Annual Academy Awards in 2011, presented by Sandra Bullock, introduced by the host, Anne Hathaway. Let's take a look. Last year's Academy Award winner for Best Actress, Sandra Bullock. And it is my honor to present the nominees for performance by an actor in a leading role. Javier, hola. Uh, when you won your Oscar for No Country for Old Men, you managed to scare an entire nation uh, with a haircut. Uh, but even more impressively than that, you have inspired, delighted, and moved us in at least two languages in your films. And you do all of the above in your haunting performance this year in Beautiful. Javier Bardem. <laughs> Jeff, dude, dude, you, um, you won this award last year. You know, I mean, wouldn't it be nice if, like, you maybe gave someone else a chance, staggered it a little bit? I mean, how much is enough? Hmm? Think about it. But you are such a good actor that this year you took on a role that has already won another actor an Oscar and you made it indelibly your own when you strapped on that eye patch in True Grit. Jeff Bridges. Um, Jesse, I'm still waiting for you to accept my friend request on Facebook. <laughs> Serious. But you have captured the spirit of an entire generation, and you've inspired lonely young men hunched over keyboards around the world. Your power is a spark that connects the social network. Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> Colin, Colin, right here. So I hear the, uh, the queen saw the film. She enjoyed it, which is good. Right? As I assume you plan on going back home sometime? <laughs> huh? But not only the queen was inspired, but all of us, by uh, the man you played who struggled so eloquently to achieve his destiny in the King's Speech. Colin Firth. <laughs> James, James. Oh, you're back. Hey, how's it going? Um, James, you have so famously played such icons as James Dean and Allen Ginsberg, but forget all that. You are the number one reason children get picked up late from school because their mothers are watching you on General Hospital. <laughs> hey, actors act, and none better than you, in the searing and visceral 127 hours. James Franco. And the Oscar goes to Colin Firth, The King's Speech. This is the first Academy Award and second consecutive nomination for Colin Firth. He was nominated last year for a single man. I have a feeling my career's just peaked. Um, um, my deepest thanks to the Academy. Um, I'm afraid I have to warn you that I'm experiencing stirrings. Um, uh, some in the upper abdominals, which are threatening to form themselves into dance moves, um, which... Uh, <laughs> Joyous as they may be for me, um, it would be extremely problematic if they make it to my legs before I get off stage. So I'm <laughs> going to uh, do my best to be brief with, with my gratitude first to, for being on this extraordinary list of uh, fellow nominees. Uh, something quite formidable and possibly the greatest honor of this. Um, 
all the crew and my fellow cast members, those who are not here um, and those who are, Jeffrey, Helena, um, and Guy, um, whose virtuosity made it very, very difficult for me to be as bad as I was planning to be. And um, David Seidler, whose own struggles have um, given so many people the benefit of his very beautiful voice. And uh, Tom Hooper for the immense courage and clear-sightedness with which he interpreted that. Um, the men who finessed this to the screen, uh, Gareth, Emil, Ian, Xavier, and of course, Harvey, who first took me on 20 years ago when I was a mere uh, child sensation. Um, <laughs> and, and all the people who have been rooting for me back home. Um, also Jessica Kolstad, my friend, um, Pauline Maris, and uh, Chris Andrews for bearing with me through some of the less fortunate moments, uh, as well as the good ones. And my very fortunate friendship with Tom Ford, who, to whom I owe a very big piece of this. And uh, to the Anglo-Italian-American-Canadian access, which makes up my family, and Livia for putting up with my fleeting delusions of royalty, and um, uh, who I hold responsible for this and for really everything that's good that's happened since I met her. Uh, now, if you'll all excuse me, I have some impulses I have to tend to backstage. Thank you very much, my very proud of you. Okay, guys, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. That's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this video, please give it an old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And share it with a friend if possible. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. TVG out.